Fox 4 News at 6. A dog found in downtown Fort Myers believed to be a victim of dog fighting. For your corners, Gabrielle Saran tells us dog baiting is a growing problem in southwest Florida. So the question is, what's being done to stop it? Gabrielle? Yeah, Emily Patrick, if you need proof that dog fighting is happening in our community, then look no further than the furry little guy you're about to meet. Meet Martin. He sat on the same spot on MLK Boulevard for three days. He seemed to be getting weaker as each day as the gentleman drove by. That passerby picked up Martin and gave him to Tina and Jeff Bailey. They foster pit bulls until they're placed in loving homes. He has scars from on uh, his face and head, his ears. Signs Martin was used as bait for dog fighting. Clearly malnourished, his ribs were showing and his gums were white. When I looked at his teeth and saw that his teeth were filed down, then that's a sure sign. Hey, pal. Pitbull expert and dog trainer Patrick Logue met Martin for the first time today. Bait dogs tend to be very friendly, and they're used as bait simply because they're not going to really stand up for themselves. Unfortunately, Logue says these signs of dog baiting are all too familiar. How much of a problem is baiting and pit bull fighting in southwest Florida? It's not only a large problem here in Southwest Florida, but it's prevalent throughout the country. I mean, it made its way into the NFL. Martin gets stronger each day at Eastside Animal Hospital. He lets you look at his teeth and his paws, and he doesn't respond if another dog snaps at him. And when he's strong, he'll need a home, a chance to be a pet. Once uh, he's had some time to, well, hang out with normal people who don't enjoy dog fighting because they recognize it as a brutal activity, Martin should be a great dog. Remember, dogs that look like Martin make great pets, and Logue says he'll even train Martin free of charge to the owner who adopts him. If you want to give Martin a good home, call Tina Bailey at 239-246-3800. Gabrielle Saran, Fox 4, in your corner. All right, we hope Martin has a new home in no time.